When you design a sheet metal part in cryoparametric, you must understand your manufacturing process through which the part is getting done to understand the flat pattern you require. For example, I have two similar parts with me. One is this one and another one is this one. Both parts are exactly same. So when I go for flat pattern, I get a flat pattern like this, which is kind of a rectangular shape. And when I go for flat pattern for this part, it comes like this, which is a circular flat pattern. So when your part is manufactured by deep drawing process, then you must get your flat pattern like this. And when your part is manufactured by roll forming process, then you must get your flat pattern like this. Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's understand two different design approach to get two different flat pattern from the same part. So let's get started. So if you're designing a sheet metal part where your flat pattern is a circular one, then your first wall must be a circular flat wall. So in this case, my flat pattern is a circular flat pattern. So to get a circular flat pattern, you must start your sheet metal part from circular flat wall. So if I drag it up somewhere here, you can see that the first wall is a circular flat wall. So using this dimension and this dimension, I can create this circular flat wall, which is nothing but this position. Once this wall is done, I can add a flange, this one, which is this wall, then another flange from here, from here. Now let's go inside. See the wall is created like this. Selecting the bottom edge. Press and hold shift key and select multiple edge. Now the next flange is this one. Go to shape, sketch. If I zoom this area, this is my sketch. Using these dimensions, I can create this sketch. I can use bending radius here. I have just considered the sheet metal thickness. Now the last feature is this cut. Using these two dimensions, I can create this cut. And this part is done. Now if you follow this design approach, then you will get a circular flat pattern. Just like this. Now let's understand the second design approach. Here when I go for flat pattern, I get a rectangular flat pattern like this. So let's understand this design approach. And for that I will first drag it up. Now here my first wall is a cylindrical sheet metal wall. It is not a flat sheet metal wall. So I have used this position. So if I go inside, you can see that I have taken dia 5 
which is this dimension. So this is this position. Now the next feature is rip. So I have ripped it. Now if I go for unbend, I will get unbend like this. Now the next feature is the flange, the bottom flange, which is this one. I have selected this edge using shift key. You can hold and select multiple edge. Now the next feature is this flange. Go to shape, sketch. Now here again I have used these dimensions. To build this sketch. And when I say OK. I get this complete flange. So in this part, I have used flange, not flat, because my flange is an open sketch. Now the next feature is this cutout, which I have already explained. So when you follow this design approach, you get a flat pattern like this, a rectangle flat pattern. So this was the two different design approach to get two different flat pattern from the same sheet metal part. Like the video if the video is helpful and thanks for watching.